I'm Paul Nguyen. I'm a radiation oncologist at Dana-Farber Brigham Women's Cancer Center in Boston, and I'm a professor of radiation oncology at Harvard Medical School. This can be a very heterogeneous disease, which when you look at the NCCN guidelines, this has the most possible treatment options. You can have surgery, you can have radiation by itself, you can have brachytherapy alone, you can have radiation plus brachytherapy, or radiation plus hormonal therapy, or radiation plus hormonal therapy plus brachytherapy. And so there are many different treatment options for this disease of varying intensity. And it's kind of hard to figure out exactly which is the best treatment for each patient. We can certainly use clinical factors to try to stratify patients between favorable intermediate risk and unfavorable intermediate risk. And that gets us a long way. I think that's a very good classification system. But I think that genomics can really help us take that even a step further and give us more confidence in our treatment. Sometimes you might take a look at a patient with uh, a very favorable intermediate risk prostate cancer and be thinking about offering that patient active surveillance. You know, in that situation, I will typically get an MRI and I would get a genomic score to try to figure out uh, if that patient is indeed low risk on all counts, and then I'll feel more comfortable with active surveillance. If there's anything that's not low risk, then I'll probably push for therapy. I think interesting questions come up uh, also at the borderline. Sometimes you're not sure about whether or not you want to give hormone therapy. There are some patients, even though NCCN guidelines say for favorable intermediate risk, you don't have to give hormone therapy. There are some patients who go right up to the border between favorable and unfavorable intermediate risk. And when you're not sure, uh, that's where you know, some real dilemmas come in. And that's where I use MRI and I use genomics to try to help to make some of those decisions. Mm -hmm.